This is the design active that Shishok shared with racing vehicles and fighter planes, among other materials. This represents a clear difference between T-Shop and fashion watches, or watches that are copies of T-Shop. Speaking of shop resistance structure, we developed a new construction that serves this purpose. This is the GF50C, the first T-Shop model to be equipped with a three-layer protective structure. Features in an oversized case it achieves G-Shock shock resistance thanks to its new assembly. G-Shock has also evolved in terms of fun and fashion, which is offering our new colors, color dual series, and new cases. G-Shock is a brand that never stops evolving. I hope you will visit this place after our conference and take a good look at the G-Shock on this price. I'm sure you'll come away with understanding of the latest development and our philosophy of the continuously evolving T-shirt bra. Next. I'd like to say a few words about T-shirt sister bra, Baby G. Baby G was born in 1994. Does anyone recognize this man? <laughs> That's me. 15 years ago. <laughs> when I was working in the headquarters in Japan, at that time, Jesus was trying to gain popularity because of his various capabilities of shock resistance. His reputation as the unbreakable watch and its motor resistance, as well as its unique design. We were receiving many requests from women for a women's G-Shop. So, I began development of a watch with a feminine design and a shop resistance structure, like G-Shop. We felt that simply placing a G-Shop for women will not be enough. This new watch should have all the core principles of G-Shock, but a design type of its own. Start yet finish. The art contradiction. This proved to be the hurdle to overcome in the development of baby G. I regret to admit that Kasho was positioned at that time like a Samurai Corporation with a firm commitment to new emerging technologies and has very little experience in developing design for women. To make up for our lack of experience in women's products, I attended one brainstorming session after another, not only with many of our engineers and designers, but also with retailers, consumers, and people within the fashion world. One day, I was walking through the city and saw women wearing a bracelet made of several wires. The minute I saw it, I saw the big. For women, a watch is an important accessory. We needed to create an accessory item while at the same time expressing toughness. And now we have the answer, a wire protector. This was the solution to our problem. This helped to, to turn the contradiction into a brand identity. By adding a protector to the basic watch design, service became a key design element. I believe a uh, protector would be the best way to create a watch with an identity different from G-Shop, yet at the same time giving it a unique design, along with retaining G-Shop shop resistance. <coughs> Since its launch in 1994, JVG has undergone its own independent, evolutionary process 
while remaining a member of the judicial family. And the protector structure, which originated with our wire protector, has also made significant advances. This year, we plan to stimulate our efforts of baby G, starting with our selection of the parenting finger question to serve as a baby G brand ambassador, making her the first woman other than athlete to hold this position. Kesha is a woman with a tough character, but who is at the same time extremely heavy. And she has her own special style. I can't think of anyone else who embodies the baby G brand identity so perfectly.